Hmm. It's not even a good evening thing this time. I'm not even gonna lie. Fuck you lot. I'm going through things, man. I care how you lot are doing. Let's go straight into it, man. It's the love of my life. Football. It's, I love it. Since I've been two, three years old, it's been such a part of me. But you see the way this football is digger, digger and run down and mash up? That's, that's my football life. You know why? Because Arsenal, Arsenal Football Club. I'd, I'd, first of all, before I say all these things, win, lose or draw, I'm a gooner. No matter what. But it hurts, dog. It hurts. You know what it's like? I can't relate. Certain man can relate. Finding love letters in the wash and that. But it's like having a girl and you know she's cheating on you, but you love her and you're staying and you're smelling other man's scents. Yeah. It's hard, man. Arsenal Football Club. Let me tell you my full Arsenal journey because it wasn't always like this. I was born in 1991. I fell in love with football, I say 94. JVC days, you get me? Proper Arsenal hybrid. By the time I learnt to properly love and understand the sport, it's Nicky Anelka, Ian Wright, Dennis Burkamp, Patrick Vieira, Emmanuel Petit, David Seaman in goal, Tony Adams at the back. Bad boys. You get me? Remember football stickers? Oh, I had all the Arsenal people them on my bed. All of them. Imagine having fucking El Nene sticker on your youth's bed. I'd kick down the whole bunk bed. El Nene. It's too much. I remember when us coming forth used to hurt. Do you remember that? When they used to laugh at us for coming forth. Now, man's in the forest doing black magic. Trying to get top six. Trying to, man are doing juju for Europa League. It's too much, Arsenal. It's too much. Aubameyang, he's our best player. Car fixing football, come back with single plats. Rude boy, don't make single plats and golden Ferrari. Pussy, you see? Listen, I love him. I love my team. I love my team. I do love my team. Hector Bellerin. I used to love, I used to love him like a brother. I still love him like a brother. But you know what it's like? You know you got a brother that don't bathe and he steals and he, 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 he's just nasty. He's like that kind of brother now. Nicolas Pepe. We got Nicolas Pepe record signing. My brethren's laughing right now. I want to dash something at him, but I can't because you've put, Arsenal have put me in a space. If you know Lippy, you know I'll argue anything, anything. Man could be talking about tennis. I'll be like, what? Serena Williams. I don't even know what man's talking about. You see football arguments now, I'm just like this. I'm not, you know what kind of football fan man's like now? You know them Sheffield United man and that? They just watch it for the love of the game. Turning up to the pub, holding his little pint just for morale reasons. Just to get away from my girl, you know, just standing there. Looking at Arsenal losing. Like, yep, yep. We're going to be alright next season. It's, it's been eight years. It's been about eight years since I've been saying this. It's too much, man. It's too much. It's a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. We got Saka, my boy Martinelli, my boy Smith Rowe. You get me? Hopefully we sign Odegaard permanently. I hope. I never want to see Kabayos again. Never ever want to see Kabayos again. And there's two men I have to speak about. And these two men, there's a moral to every Lippy's living room story. Karma. There's two men, I, 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 I don't think I've, I've chatted more shit about these two footballers in my life and them turn up, them turn up and they play for my team now. And the man there, William and David Lewis. Not David Luiz, not David Luiz. That is a Brazilian name. We have already established that he is from East London. William as well, I don't know, he's not Brazilian either. He's like Trinidadian or something. Cause no, that's the land of football. What them man there doing, don't chat to me. We finally got rid of Mustafi and all of them pagan boy, and now we got William. Lacazette, you have to chat to your dog. You have to look. I'm gonna look in the camera. And listen, we got the same hairline, dog. You see when? Nah, nah. Listen, we have to chat about this. This is the first in a lifetime thing. See what Arsenal made man do? Get rid of the blood clot, do rag pan living room. But let me tell you something. You see, before Lacazette played for us. I could have done all kind of styles. I could have done, remember the one what the gallium used to do back in the day where they used to gel down their thing? I could have done that. Look at me now, alopecia. 
you, nah. You was our record signing, and then we went and got a Bamiyang who was cold, but he's shit now, and he got the same hair as Digger D. Just fuck off. I don't give a shit. Nah, I don't care. Car. It's too much. Nah, it's too much. Yeah, I watch it on the illegal stream sometimes, but I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. The kit I bought, the, the brother that I bought it from, he stole it. What? But we're coming eighth. So it don't, don't do that. Leicester won the league. Leicester. Liverpool won the league. Tot if Tottenham... Let me tell you something. <laughs> if Tot... No, no. Listen. If Tottenham win the league before Arsenal win the league, Lippy's jail cell. Living room done. Lock off the living room. I'm in jail. First jail podcast. You know when they got and proper jail. I'm not talking about scrubs and them thing. I'm talking about the mad jail. They got the thing over my mouth. Like Hannibal come and just about to yam everything. All my mental health just gone. Arsenal, please get better. For my hairline, for the for the future of Gruner's hairlines. Please, let's get better. Yeah, and another one on a serious note. Rest in peace, the big dog Claude, Arsenal Fan TV. Let's do it for him as well. Please, boys. Serious. Lippy's living room, man. Let's make my life better, please.